Okay, so you're having problems with the scraper tool maybe. Uh, scraping seems not to work sometimes because the game database is always down. Um, or you need your own custom box art that you'd like to add to your detail screen. So uh, here's how we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add custom box art and update your game list XML file with uh, details manually if that's what you need to do. So here we go. We're going to start in the uh, arcade uh, menu and I start in the arcade because this is uh, where I put all my ROMs uh, for my MAME and you'll see I have custom box art for my arcade games and I'm missing some of them. I'm going to have to add some. I'm going to show you how to add the box art uh, and I'm going to show you uh, how to add some missing details. So let's do Miss Pac-Man. I got some missing information here and I'm going to hit the select key to open up the edit this game's metadata. I'm going to uh, go down to edit this game's metadata and hit A to enter. And I'm just going to manually enter my data uh, that I got from Wikipedia. Um, so I'm going to start with the easy stuff, which uh, is release. Um, and Pac-Man was released February, Miss Pac-Man was released February 3rd. 1982. I don't know why this is cut off by a digit, but you can figure it out. There's 79, 80, 81, 82. A. I'm going to go down to developer, and the developer is hit enter to get the cursor in there, and then I can type General Computing Corp and Midway Manufacturing. And if any of this is wrong, blame Wikipedia because this is where I got it. Publisher, I can put this in there. It's not in the details right now, but I can, oh, it's like I spelled it right. Genre for this game is gonna be maze. Okay, players, uh, I'm gonna leave one, even though I think it's one, uh, two alternating or whatever. We'll just put one, not a big deal. And then you're gonna say, well, box art, add your box art. I'm gonna show you how you have to do that. You add your box art through the image here. Um, and then the video also, you could do a preview video, which is pretty cool instead of the box art. I'll show you how to do that in my next video. So if you want that uh, to see that one, just subscribe. And when it comes out, you'll see that one. Um, but we're just going to do the image. And right now, I'm also going to do the description. But instead, I'm not going to go and type in a description. That takes too long. I'm going to show you a little easier way to do it. Um, I'm going to put test in here for now, and you'll see why I put that. Because I'm going to show you it in the game.xml file. But let's say you had Raspbian on your uh, RPI. You could probably, and I'm not sure because I don't have it, but you probably go to a browser through Raspbian, copy, and then paste the description right from Wikipedia on here. So in order to get out of here after we hit test, we got to hit the escape key on my keyboard and then arrow down and then hit A for OK. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to save. And then we're going to back out and we'll see that, OK, the data was... Um, saved over there on the bottom right and uh, I am gonna actually re just to be safe I'm gonna restart emulation station because I want the game list.xml file to open up or to update I want it to update when we open it up you can see that we go back down I have some data for metal slug I'll just add the game art in there too to show you and then I'm gonna add the game art for miss pac-man so for now let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to get that process rolling. Okay, so we're at our computer, and what we want to do is we want to FTP our image files onto our RPI. And again, you can use File Explorer for this if you're more comfortable with that, but I suggest uh, you learn how to FTP your SSH uh, files onto your uh, Raspberry Pi. So uh, I put a link in the description to um, I put a link in the description to ETA Prime's tutorial on how to do SSH. Um, it's very good and you can't go wrong with that. So watch that and you'll be on board. So right now we're connected to the Raspberry Pi. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is open up my game list.xml so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so I want to start from the beginning because where we're going to go is we can go home, PI, RetroPie, 
oh, excuse me, emulation station, game lists, and then here's where you have a game list in each folder. And again, remember, I was working in arcade, so I'm going to want to look at my game list.xml. Now, the reason I am going in here is because I am going to edit the data in the file, which was the same as the edit, editing data we did in the options menu, edit uh, metadata. It's the same thing, but we're doing it manually in the game list. And why I'm doing this is because I'm going to add a description in and I didn't feel like typing in all the data and I can do multiple ones at a time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this file and I'm going to download it to my desktop to make this easy. Okay. I'm going to open it up with notepad plus plus i suggest using notepad plus plus for these types of um, changes and here's what we're looking at right this is all the data in the game list file for the games i've had and you'll see game mk2 game street fighter ce game street fighter 3 and i didn't have that many games in there so you can see the list is rather short there's metal slug 2 donkey kong pac-man that Neo Geo is the um, BIOS file that I was talking about that we could just remove out of here if we wanted. Um, here is uh, Metal Slug 4, which I said I was going to put the description in. Here's Miss Pac-Man. Okay, let's start with Miss Pac-Man, right? So down here, you can see here's Miss Pac-Man. You have the path, the name, the description. Uh, where I typed in test here because I wanted to show you that the description would populate. If you have nothing in the description, then this doesn't populate, okay? Uh, rating, release date, which I populated, which uh, this is some sort of format that um, is not standard, so typing the release date in here is a little difficult. The developer that I put in, midway, and then the maze, and that's it, okay? So, um, I'm going to add descriptions into Miss Pac-Man and to Metal Slug 4 uh, because they both have test in there, which I put in. If I, if I didn't have the word test in there, this whole thing would be gone. And then you'd have to start with the, the beginning description and then end description. Um, so all I'm really going to do is go to Google Miss Pac-Man wiki and I'm going to copy their first basically their first uh, paragraph of details and then I go uh, back into my notepad plus plus and all I'm doing here and again Miss Pac-Man's down here here's the description I'm going to backspace here be careful I'm going to paste it all in and unfortunately it always goes all the way to the right here and you can see it there and then it has end description here which should work um, you can put the end of the description right here if you have any problems right at the end like you'll see in some of these other ones end description here instead of on the next line but that, that really is not an issue shouldn't be an issue um, so I got that one in there and then I'm gonna do metal slug real quickly because it's easier to do that while I'm already in here metal slug 4 all right I'm gonna grab this and we can go as far as we want um, so I can grab all this if I want to and I might as well just for example and we can go back and metal slug 4 was right here and here's the description where i put test i'm gonna back out of there paste and done so we're done with adding the descriptions and if we wanted to mess around with other stuff in here you can um, i don't really mess around too much because i don't want to mess it up but i will show you this these other games that I had the box art in, you can see the images in there. 
and the des and the destination uh, directory file. Okay, you could type it, this all in here if you wanted to. Um, instead of typing it in in the image section in the edit meta metadata, which is the way I do it and which is the way I'm going to show you next. For me, I just like to do it that way. It's a little easier, but you could copy and paste in here if you had a bunch of if you had a bunch of games you wanted to add stuff to and you didn't want to go in and out each game, you could continually update each one of your games in this file. Okay? It's just getting a little used to the to the language of the file. You have path, end path, name, end name, description, end description image and image and, and typing in what is supposed to go there okay but for now we have our game list I'm gonna overwrite my game list that was on my desktop and you might not want to overwrite it you might want to save it somewhere else and then um, well I'm gonna have to save it somewhere else because it doesn't like that I'm gonna save it to a different folder just and that's a good idea actually because in case something went wrong you have your old gameless file that you could still use I'm gonna put it in my documents folder I'll just put it uh, right over this one that's an old one save yes okay now pretty much we're done in here if we want to be in, and that's all I want to do is add the descriptions so I'm gonna close out and I'm gonna be done I save my gameless file in my documents and it's right here but I haven't overridden my RetroPie game list yet. So I have to go back to where my game lists were, which was Emulation Station, Game Lists, Arcade. And I'm going to drag the game list over here that I saved. And I'm going to click Yes, Overwrite, and the new game list has been loaded. Okay? So updated my game list with those descriptions but now we have to put the box art into uh, into our uh, RPI via FTP okay my box art are all my images and I said I was gonna do Miss Pac-Man and Metal Slug so uh, here's my Miss Pac-Man box art right here and let me open this up so you can see this is my Miss Pac-Man box art and it's named dash image not because you have to name it that dash image some people say oh you have to name it dash image that's the, the, how the scraper tool names uh, some of these files or these files um, so if you want to stay consistent you can name it dash image but it doesn't have to be um, also the directory technically can be anywhere uh, anywhere you want in, in uh, in your in your Raspberry Pi you could technically just put it in this home folder right here you know you'd have a directory home and right here and then when you're typing it in in metadata it's a lot shorter I'm gonna stay consistent where I put mine which was in home PI RetroPie ROMs and for Miss Pac-Man which was using MAME I just put them in MAME for all now again I think I'm going to have to type this whole directory in when I go back to the, the image file in, in RetroPie. So um, that's going to be a, a little difficult, but that's okay. I'm used to it. So I'm going to drag my Miss Pac-Man file over here, and you can see that Miss Pac-Man box art image is now here. Um, for Metal Slug, I actually, that's an FBA game, so... I'm going to grab my Metal Slug 4 image right here, and I'm going to put it over here. So the one thing you have to remember is what did you name your file? So when, because we're going to have to type all this in when we type it into the RetroPie edit made it metadata settings. Okay, so we're back at a RetroPie. We're going to go in. Well, actually, let's restart emulation station just to be certain so we're going to restart emulation station if you were still had it open and we go into our arcade and you see my metal slug has a description just like we wanted miss pac-man has a description just like we wanted and all all we have to do is add the box art to do that we're going to hit select for options 
down to edit metadata, go into the image file, A, oh, that's from before, and right here is where we enter that directory path to where we put the image via FTP. And for me, it was home pi retro pi roms, and then I put it in the mame dash mame for all, and then it was miss, oh, it was new miss pacman dash image dot png. So now you can see why putting in such a long directory and naming the file so long is a little bit tedious. So if I did it right, I'm going to hit OK. Hopefully I got everything right. Hit save and it would show up in the background. There it is. So I got it right on that one. If you do anything wrong, a, a, a capital letter, or just any missing letter, a missing uh, forward slash, it will not work. So we go back. We're going to do Metal Slug as well. We're going to hit S to open up the menu. Edit this game's data. Down to Image, A. Enter to get our cursor in there. We're going to put a forward slash, home, pi, retro, well, so i got to make that capital, retro pi, then ROMs, and then this one was in the FBA folder, so i got to make sure I put that, and then it was new M slug 4, and it was dash image, I believe, dot PNG, a, go down, save, and if I got it right, it'll pop up without having to restart. And there it is, guys. So you see that's how you add a box art image manually, as well as some other tips on how to edit the gameless.xml file. If you have any questions, uh, send an email to the below or just write in the comments and I'll try and answer you. Um, and if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.